In the previous section, we talked about logic as a set of well-defined rules at the heart of critical thinking. In this section, we will expand upon this to talk about the full process of reasoning, whereas logic refers simply to the instructions and interrelationship between things. Reasoning refers to the full process we go through in amassing information, assessing it, interpreting it, and generating knowledge. One of the main themes throughout this section will be that of subjectivity and objectivity in our reasoning. As we've mentioned before, the central aim of critical thinking is objective knowledge. We're trying to derive knowledge that is based upon some universal set of principles and not just the opinion of some specific individual or groups. Thus, it is important for us to make the distinction between subjective and objective knowledge, which is a somewhat subtle distinction and not always an easy one to make. In this section, we'll talk about what we call the standards of reasoning. It is these standards that help us to attain some form of objectivity in our thinking. As a corollary to this, we'll talk about motivated reasoning that leads to subjective interpretations.